Have you ever wanted to sync your sound with your animation, similar to those rhythm-based edits? If you do, Sound Nodes is one of those add-ons that allows you to do just that. Similar to something like a beatmaker generator in After Effects, only this one is generated through geometry nodes and the information extracted can be used to sync any type of animation. Sound nodes allow you to extract audio information from music files and use it to drive your animations however you want. The information extracted is stored as keyframes, and these keyframes are connected with custom nodes in the Geometry Nodes Editor, allowing you to create any audiovisual composition you want. You can find the add-on in the Insight panel of your Geometry Nodes tab. There are two buttons. The first one is Load Audio, and here you can choose the audio file. The Anno supports all the popular audio formats, including MP3, WAV, AUG, and so on. After selecting your audio clip, you can now hit Analyze Audio, and depending on how long the audio is, it might take a moment to analyze. Now, to see the effect, drop a new object in the scene and create a new geometry node modifier. Sound Nodes comes with a variety of new nodes to choose from, each offering a different way to manipulate and animate your audio data. For example, the Sound Info node contains basic information about the audio, including loudness, average frequency, and beats. Spectrogram nodes allow you to visualize frequencies in audio, while the Chromagram node provides the energy of musical pitches with different keys on each output. Now, this might be too advanced for me, but I am sure people who are musically savvy might find this very useful. Once you create the new geometry modifier, you can animate your object in any way you want and use one of the nodes provided to drive the animation. For example, you can use the loudness output on the sound info to sync the movement with the audio peaks depending on the loudness of the song. The use cases of this are limitless of course. You can do all sorts of histogram and sound wave effects, but you can also apply it across multiple objects in the scene and because the whole thing is driven by geometry nodes, you can reuse it and adjust it to any settings in real time and you can do this non-destructively. So if you want to learn more about sound nodes and read the full documentations about it, you will find the necessary links in the description down below. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like this video to stay updated with the latest news of 3D software. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.